Hello. In this video, we will model trajectory of a soccer ball. When a soccer ball is kicked, its trajectory is a concave down parabola, which we can see here. When a ball is kicked, uh, it goes up, moves down in a beautiful parabolic shape, and it covers horizontally 8.7 meters and vertically 3.34 meters. Now, if the trajectory is traced, it is a beautiful parabolic curve. And if you move this curve on a Cartesian grid, this is how it looks. We can mark its x-intercepts and some important points to find its equation. So conveniently, we can mark x, one of the x-intercepts at 0, 0, so other one will be 8.7, 0. That was horizontal distance. Now, when you use the intercept form of a quadratic curve, it looks like y is equal to a x minus 0, x minus 8.7. To find the value of a, we can take one point on the curve, which is an obvious point is 8, 1. So, when you put x is equal to 8 and y is equal to 1, we can find the value of a when these are substituted in the equation. And that gives you value of a which is a is equal to 1 over 8 times negative 0 0.7. When you plug in this value of a into the main equation, then finally, final I mean simplified equation will be 10x squared plus 56y is equal to 87. Now this process of finding the equation is called mathematical modeling. And this equation 10x squared plus 56y is equal to 87 is mathematical model of the trajectory of that soccer ball. Thank you.